Hey, I'm Elise from Lucky, and I'm here with Ray, who's also from Lucky, and we're here to discuss how to wear the pencil mini skirt. I know it's one of those shapes that seems intimidating and maybe a little bit 80s and possibly a little bit too sexy, but there are definitely ways to make it cool. So the first thing we did is to balance the snugness and tightness of the skirt with some extra volume and layers up top. We started with a long, loose-fitting tee. If you don't already own many, you should, because they're a great layering staple, which is just sort of flowing over the top, and then a fitted jacket, which sort of brings it all in so it doesn't look like she's drowning in fabric. It hits right at the waistline, which gives her a really nice shape. And then you just sort of roll up the sleeves to toughen it up a little bit. And then most importantly, don't wear a stiletto. Again, too overtly sexy. Cover up a little bit more down there with either sort of a, a clunky boot like this one, which is just sort of cool and edgy, or you could wear a lace of Oxford. There are lots of options. Just stay away from the stiletto. You ready for our next look? I'm ready. All right. In this next look, we made it even simpler by just going with one top. But you'll note that it's elegant and long and drapes really beautifully. It's right at the hip, so it creates just sort of one seamless, long silhouette. It's very elegant, particularly when you're working with a skirt that's so short. And in terms of your legs, obviously don't attempt a mini unless you're really ready to show them off because everyone's going to see them, but that doesn't mean that they have to be bare. Ray's not wearing stockings, but for transitioning into fall, add some tights. It works just as well. Again, heel, totally essential. Unless you have legs for miles, you really are gonna need the, the help of the heel to sort of lengthen out those leg muscles. In this next look, we added lots of new elements, namely color. Now, if you don't experiment with a lot of color, start with a rich jewel tone because it's flattering on every skin tone, I promise. Now, this satin, as you can see, is a little bit looser. The, the mini doesn't have to be tight. That's a myth. Um, and it has a lot of interesting architectural draping, which really gives it a nice shape and makes it a little bit more dressed up and a little bit more elegant. Ray added a casual sort of slouchy tee that's sort of half tucked in in an artful way, and it makes it more casual and appropriate for day. And then the cardigan, Go for something that's really lightweight because you want it to drape and flow. You really don't want to add unnecessary bulk or have anything on that's going to add a lot of extra layer to your hips. That's one of those areas that you really want to minimize, particularly when you're wearing a mini. Well, I hope you found something that you think might work for you today. There are tons of mini skirts out there this fall, and it's shorter and tighter and a little bit scarier than what we've been seeing, so I hope you found some ways that you think you might be able to make it work for you. I'm Elise from Lucky. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.